All right, we return now to one of our top stories. Two women killed when the minivan they were in was hit by a military bus. This happened last night at State Line Road and Gateway North. The victims have been identified as 50-year-old Anna Sandoval and 78-year-old Maria del Carmen Sandoval. KFOX 14 News at 5's Jacqueline Quinones joins us now live from near that crash site after talking to a witness and providing us an update to efforts to make that intersection safer. Jacqueline. Well, while it doesn't look like it right now, but almost 24 hours ago, the scene here looked completely different. Right behind me, you can see a fence that had been pushed over. There are car tire marks on the sand and a bunch of debris left on the ground. Right over there, you could also see a pole had been pushed over. Now, I spoke with to one employee at the edge of Texas about what they saw. Taking a video of what happened, as you can see here, there's like a lot of um, ambulances. Ryan Sanchez is an employee at the edge of Texas Steakhouse, um, and he's like been working there for three years. He tells me that he has seen many crashes happen at this busy intersection at the state line in Gateway North. There's always accidents at this intersection. Like there's always has been in the three years that I've been working here, there's been maybe about 10 or more accidents that, that I was here for. And even more when I wasn't here for. He says last night's crash was very chaotic. They had to close a restaurant early. So usually when there's accidents, they close actually both roads. So they close the road over here and then they close the road obviously from where the accident was. So we're unable to get any customers at all from just we pretty much just have to close the whole restaurant. Sanchez says his work advocated a while back to get some lights at the intersection. So we tried doing a petition, we tried having our customers sign it. We didn't try getting the locals from Chaparral, the high schools. We had this huge list of uh, petitions, but I just suppose it never went through or we just still haven't heard back from so many ones. Amy Evans with NM Dot says they have been working on a project to get the roads fixed for the past two years. Right now we are at 60% design, um, which means they're still looking into it. Uh, we will have another public meeting when it gets to 90% design phase. Evan says with the recent crashes, they are aware and are trying to get this project going sooner than later. This project done, getting it um, put in place, safety and capacity are what is fueling this project. So definitely we're you know trying our best. We're going to get it out there and try to get that build underway as soon as possible. Sanchez says he hopes that this crash puts more of a push to get this project going. I hope they would, um, mostly because we don't want any more accidents to happen. We don't want any more deaths to occur. You know, the sooner the better. The sooner this gets fixed, the sooner everyone will be safe, you know, and secure knowing that this road right here won't be as much as, as of a danger as it was before. NM Dot says the design phase is expected to be completed in the spring of 2025 and the construction is expected to be starting in the winter. We also reached out to TxDOT regarding this project who are working with NM Dot on this and we have yet to hear back in time for this report. Reporting by the state line, Jacqueline Quinones, KFOX 14 News at 5.